What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to cash flow in your backyard. You may have heard of this term ADU or accessory dwelling unit, which is a secondary housing unit on a single family residential lot. In California, starting in 2017, regulations around this type of project relaxed significantly and now it's a lot easier for you to build an ADU if you own a single family home. The ADU can be used for guests, in-laws, or as a rental. So now you have this option to make money in your backyard. How do you go about making it a reality? In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to build an ADU in your backyard. We're going to tour this ADU unit that was built by Rent the Backyard, which is one of the prefabricated ADU providers in the Bay Area. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the channel. My name is Elisa and I'm a house flipper in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been flipping houses for almost five years now and I've done over 30 home remodels. On this channel, I share home remodeling tips and tricks and real estate investing strategies. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see interesting content. Before we start the tour, I want to mention that I'm actually building an ADU on the backyard of my rental property in San Jose right now. I'm doing a stick build ADU, which is different from the prefabricated ADU solution offered by Rent the Backyard. So I know the general process very well and I can compare these two solutions for you. Even though this video is sponsored by Rent the Backyard, I'm going to provide you with my honest opinion about their prefabricated ADU solution compared to a stick build ADU. Because I know if I'm only telling you a one-sided story about Rent the Backyard, it's not going to be helpful because each approach has its pros and cons. So Forrest from Rent the Backyard is going to give us a walkthrough of this ADU. Um, Forrest, thanks for joining me on this show. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about this unit? Of course. So uh, Rent the Backyard, we are a factory built housing program based mm -hmm. in Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. uh, so we service the Bay Area in its entirety mm -hmm. with our factory built unit. Mm -hmm. um, what factory built means is that we build this unit about 95% at our factory in West Oakland mm -hmm. and drop it into your backyard. That's awesome. It saves a lot of hassle on site because I'm building an ADU at my rental property in San Jose right now and I'm worried about displacing the tenants that's already in the main house over there and we're trying to find some long-term tenants who can tolerate construction noise but with the construction being um, in the factory it can save all the trouble from that. Exactly, and not only disrupting the tenants, but also um, avoiding cost overruns, having a controlled environment to mm -hmm. build this unit in, mm -hmm. all the tools in the same location, mm -hmm. um, all of our uh, workers in the same location, it avoids um, unnecessary delays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So everything, so you tell the customer a timeline and you're definitely going to be able to follow the timeline. Precisely. And how big is this unit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's about 35 feet long uh -huh. and 12 feet wide. Okay. Um, so that brings the grand total to about 418 square feet on the interior. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And we chose that size because it fits in the vast majority of backyards in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. um, typically, they're about 50 feet wide and mm -hmm. uh, about 30 feet deep. Mm -hmm. So we kept uh, that in, uh, in our design, um, design stage. Cool. Yeah. And this unit is delivered as a whole to this site. Precisely. So it, it like I said, arrives 95% uh, complete as mm -hmm. one piece. Um, That's cool. And then it is installed with a fairly large crane. Um, and then we proceed with connecting it to the um, pre-built foundation, mm -hmm. as well as the utility connections that um, we took care of ahead of installation. Okay, yeah. so how long does it take for you to build the foundation on site? So typically uh, the project in its entirety is mm -hmm. about four to six months total. Uh -huh. um, so 
Um, the vast majority of that time is waiting for permits to be returned. Um, but once they are returned, uh, that is when we get started on the foundation, the utility connections, mm -hmm. um, and that takes place mm -hmm. in uh, the fourth month or so, mm -hmm. um, about a month prior to installation. Got it. Yeah. So with this very simple ADU solution, how much do you guys charge? Yeah, so our all-in price is $199,000, um, okay. and that includes everything from the permit fees, utility mm -hmm. connections, the foundation, the unit itself, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, all electric appliances, as well as solar on the roof. That's very cool. Um, I know with my stick build ADU, where we hired an architect who's handling all the permitting and that's additional charge and the permit fees. And if we want to install solar, we have to pay extra. So it's really nice that you guys are a one-stop shop with that a fixed price. Definitely. Um, you already have an, enough stuff on your on your plate at one time and um, we take care of every step. So whether that's working with the city, working with your utility provider, um, even helping you find a tenant with uh, one of our property management um, connections. Nice, that's awesome. So with this unit, what's the material that you use on the outside? So the outside is, um, in this case, it is our hardy board um, material, and this can be painted whatever mm -hmm. color you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, we can match it to the existing home, mm -hmm. um, but this is just one option that we have. We can do a metal siding, um, a stucco, whatever works is best. Is it going to be extras? Uh, that is included in that pricing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's depending on what the homeowners uh, are looking for, if they mm -hmm. want it to match the existing home or mm -hmm. if they want it to uh, be a little bit different in the backyard. Okay. Yeah. What about the windows? Can you customize the windows too? Yeah, so the windows are Marvin uh, double pane, double hung glass. Uh -huh. um, so in that case, we can include um, different sized windows, um, mm -hmm. but for the most part, they're pretty standard, but we're really happy with them. So what about the front door? Can you get a different front door? Certainly. So the front door is Marvin as well. Mm -hmm. um, but if you wanted to do something with a little bit more privacy, mm -hmm. we can do a frosted glass or if you want a solid door mm -hmm. um, or even a French door as well. OK, yeah. cool. Um, so basically, you can change the colors and you can also get different windows and doors. But the only thing that you can't change is the size and the shape. Yeah, the size and the shape, um, as well as the interior layout is pretty fixed, mm. um, but we're really happy with how we've maximized uh, the 418 square feet. Well, welcome to the interior of our one bedroom ADU, Lisa. Um, nice. This is the living area, as you mm -hmm. can see, and then we have our kitchen, hallway, mm -hmm. and bedroom that way. Um, as you probably could tell, um, we use cross-laminated timber as mm -hmm. our building material. Um, this... So what's the consideration here? It's, it looks like a lot of wood. <laughs> yeah, no, certainly. So CLT is a revolutionary material. This mm -hmm. is essentially what um, the floor, the walls, the ceiling look like. Mm -hmm. um, so we have three layers of southern yellow pine mm -hmm. um, that extend all the way through the paneling. Mm -hmm. um, so the floor is a little bit different. It has um, Douglas fir as the mm -hmm. top layer, um, but it's not just the CLT. We then put a protective layer and then two layers of uh, insulation before mm -hmm. the siding. So okay. as you can tell, it's a little bit chilly in here and that's just um, leftover it's from- insulation. Exactly, working. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it works very well with our mini split unit uh -huh. um, to cool or heat the space. Got it, that's, yeah. that's nice. It feels like a cabin. This AC unit, I guess it, covers the whole space or is there another heating or cooling source? Yeah, so um, in terms of heating, that's about twice as big as it needs to be in okay. terms of BTUs. Um, so you combine that with our high R value for the, uh, the CLT and the uh -huh. insulation and uh, it's, that unit is plenty um, to heat the space, even on those cold January nights. Nice. And then um, the windows are double pane, I assume? Yep, that is uh, pretty standard nowadays, but what is different about our windows, um, as I mentioned on the outside, they're double hung. Mm -hmm. um, so what that entails is that 
um, you know, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. However, if you go down, you can actually get oh, that's cool. a, uh, another layer of uh, ventilation so you can uh -huh. make a gradient to go through the space. Uh -huh. um, and then cleaning is also a breeze. So coming out like this um, makes it really easy to clean both sides that's of the paint. fancy. <laughs> yeah, and solid wood, uh -huh. um, very quality stuff. We really like Marvin. Awesome. Yeah. And with the interior, um, old wood panels can you customize the color or um, even paint it certainly so we have a couple of different stain mm -hmm. options that are mm -hmm. available so if you wanted to keep the wood look mm -hmm. uh, but wanted a different tone that's something that we can do mm -hmm. um, alternatively if you wanted to go with um, something that looks a little bit more like uh, drywall that's mm -hmm. something that we can do just a white paint over the interior got it and that's all included nice the living room feels very cozy, so can you show us the kitchen now? Yeah, so that's where I am now. Um, so as I mentioned on the exterior, that all of the electric appliances are included in that total price. What that means is you get a dishwasher here, all electric oven and um, microwave, as well as a, a hood there, mm -hmm. um, refrigerator, and that's all standard. Um, but we can include a larger refrigerator um, if you wanted to remove this um, shelf here mm -hmm. and have a taller refrigerator for some extra freezer space. Cool, yeah, I noticed that the kitchen is not that big, mm -hmm. but all the appliances seem to be standard size. They, they are, and um, the only thing that's a little bit different is the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, micro dishwasher, but perfect for one or two people. This kitchen is small, but very functional. What are the customization you can do? Yeah, so to start, um, this is a butcher block countertop, um, but we can do a quartz countertop if you'd like, mm. um, have a little bit more of a modern flair. Mm -hmm. um, and then something else we can do is a countertop bar extension. So mm. Sunday morning, you want to have some breakfast, um, you can have a hinge on the countertop here. So when you're not using it, it goes down, mm. open up the space a bit more having breakfast Sunday morning, pull it up, have some stools underneath it, really extends the uh, space on the island. So that provides an eating space. Precisely. Cool. Yeah. And anything else you can customize? Yeah, so um, as you can see, the TV here is in kind of an awkward location. Um, we just put this for presentations here at our show unit. Mm -hmm. um, but the beauty of the CLT paneling is you don't go, have to go uh, searching for a stud because the entire wall, ceiling, and floor is a stud. Mm. So mounting it wherever you'd like is very easy, um, very carefree. Um, and then other customizations in the kitchen here, um, the fixtures um, can be changed. We have a catalog of some different options that you can choose from. So and they're all included in the price. Exactly. Cool. And we really want to make it yours um, mm -hmm. with the customizations. That's awesome. Behind this wall here is our laundry room. Mm -hmm. So in this case, um, we have a combined washer and dryer. The washer and dryer is in the same unit here, but there yes. is enough space um, to have a stacked washer and dryer if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, but we chose this just because you can maximize the storage space, have some space above uh, the unit for coats because um, mm -hmm. it's right next to the entryway here. That's smart. Yeah, I bet people are going to need storage in here. Definitely. That's something that we uh, we thought of in our design phase and um, again, wanted to maximize every inch possible. And this combo is included in the price? It is, yes. Awesome. Yeah. So moving down the hallway, mm -hmm. um, we find our bathroom here. This looks like a standard size bathroom. It's pretty big for this unit. It is, um, and this bathroom in particular is a bit of a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. So customizations that we can do in here include um, ceramic tiling, um, a standing shower with glass doors, mm -hmm. um, different vanity, toilet, um, essentially whatever you'd like. Nice. Can you show us the bedroom now? Of course, yeah, just right this way. This bedroom is of good size. So anything you can customize here? Yeah, same sort of customizations for the rest mm -hmm. of the unit, including the paint or stain colors, mm -hmm. um, our catalog of different fixtures, uh, this fan, 
Um, as well as the furniture that you see in here, we're mm -hmm. running a move-in ready uh, furniture promotion. Mm -hmm. So this would be included. Nice. Um, so the bed frame, the bookshelf, the wardrobe uh, would be included um, cool. in that pricing. And I think for this space, you can also put in the Murphy bed, right? I saw in your that is correct. Uh, promotions. Yeah, so the Murphy bed is great. Um, what it is essentially mm -hmm. is a mm -hmm. desk bed combo. Uh -huh. So it would be mounted to this wall here, um, bolted into the CLT paneling. Um, and it is a desk when you need it and a mm -hmm. bed when you don't. Mm -hmm. um, so you can leave everything on the desk when you pull the bed down, mm -hmm. which is great for students or mm -hmm. people that want a bit of a, a home office in a small space. Yeah, that would be very uh, efficient for this space too. Yeah. So Forrest, thank you so much for showing us around. Of course. Um, I think my viewers are going to have some questions about this ADU solution you have here. Um, so what's the minimum lot size to allow for a unit like this? Yep, so uh, thanks to some recent legislation, uh, mm -hmm. the permit process has been streamlined across California, so mm -hmm. it's statewide. Um, so in short, as I mentioned, the footprint of the unit is 35 feet long and 12 feet wide. Mm -hmm. um, so with that in mind, I would encourage homeowners to get an idea of the size of their backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and then we require a four foot setback from the property lines mm -hmm. and then typically 10 feet from the edge of the unit to the existing home. Got it. So how do you finance a unit like this? Yeah, so there's a multitude of different options. Um, mm -hmm. I would encourage homeowners to talk to a financial professional to mm -hmm. see what works best for them because mm -hmm. um, it varies home to home. Mm -hmm. um, some options include a traditional mortgage with interest rates being relatively low right now. Um, it, it allows you to have a uh, pretty high cash flow from your mortgage payment to the potential rental income um, that you could be making from the unit. So with the price of 199000 how much um, monthly payment that is? Mm -hmm. So on a 30-year fixed, mm -hmm. um, it's typically anywhere from 700 to $900 per month. Oh, okay, so that's not that much. It's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, and with that, 1% uh, of the total construction cost is what you pay in um, additional yearly property taxes. Oh, okay. So what that works out to per month is anywhere from 160 to 180 okay. um, per month. Uh -huh. um, so adding everything together with the average um, one bedroom rent in the Bay Area being about 2000 2100 uh -huh. you're looking at easily at least $1,000 in uh, cash flow. Net um, cash flow a month. Exactly. I think a lot of homeowners with the uh, appreciation of their home value, they could also take out a home equity line of credit to to um, get this done, right? Yeah, that's another option. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen that in a couple of cases here, but mm -hmm. um, it really depends on the individual and um, I would encourage um, homeowners to reach out to us. We can mm -hmm. do a preliminary assessment mm -hmm. um, to give people an idea of what they could expect to rent one of these units out for. Um, we take care of all the calculations, so giving you an idea on what the monthly payment would be mm -hmm. on the mortgage, mm -hmm. what the additional property taxes would look like, and of course what your net cash flow um, mm -hmm. would look like as well, the best part. That's great. Yeah. So how does your price compare to your competitors? Yeah, so um, again, our pricing is $199,000 all in. Mm -hmm. um, and we find that this is extremely competitive, especially in the Bay Area for a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, prices range with our competitors, but um, one thing that distinguishes us mm -hmm. is that that $199,000 is an all in price. So mm -hmm. there's no surprises mm -hmm. um, after our site visit. The price that we give you in your proposal is the price you pay. Mm -hmm. um, there's no uh, what's known as change orders mm -hmm. that can happen later mm -hmm. um, that would unexpectedly increase that price. So does that happen with your competitors? Yeah, typically, um, some, some builders may give you a price that you can't refuse. Uh -huh. And uh, once you sign the contract, there may be some uh, requirements such as geotechnical work or additional foundation work, utility connections. Or solar panel extra. Exactly, that, um, are, that weren't included in that price that you saw. Uh -huh. So 
Um, we try to be as upfront as possible from the very beginning with the price you see in your fixed bid is the mm -hmm. price you pay. That's great because I know um, I experienced this myself when I was starting out in the house flipping business mm. um, with contractors that you've never worked with. There are change orders and there are upcharges. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, even if you get a lower bid, um, all the changes add up. And in the end, the, the bill can be a lot more expensive. Exactly. And purchasing a home, whether it's a, um, a single family home or an ADU, mm -hmm. it's one of the largest purchases you make. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to know what you're going into from the very beginning. So right. you can better plan financially mm -hmm. and uh, understand what route you want to go down. That makes sense. Yeah. Thanks for all the information. So if someone's interested in building an ADU with you guys, how do they get started? Yeah, so we would ask that you either give us a call or book a uh, show unit tour on mm -hmm. our website, rentthebackyard.com. I'll have the website linked below in the description. Awesome. And uh, from there, after the tour, um, we book a complimentary site visit mm -hmm. where myself or one of our associates would come out, assess your backyard, place some flags in the footprint mm -hmm. and assess your existing utilities. After that, we provide you with a fixed bid, all inclusive proposal, which mm -hmm. has your total price um, and we can proceed from there. Got it. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us this tour and yeah. all the information. Yeah, and if there's any questions, feel free to give us a call or uh, shoot us an email. Sounds good. Awesome. As promised, I'm going to share with you the comparison between the two ADU approaches, prefabricated and stick build. Let's start from the advantages of a prefabricated ADU that's offered by Rent the Backyard. First of all, it's a one-stop shop, which means you just need to engage this one vendor, which is Rent the Backyard or another prefabricated ADU provider. And you don't have to worry about hiring an architect who draws up the plans for the ADU and then get the city approval for the permits. And you also don't need to worry about having to hire a contractor to do the construction. So for a regular homeowner who doesn't have an architect or a contractor that's reliable, then this is a very good solution because you don't have to deal with multiple people. The second advantage of a prefabricated option is it's really fast. With my stick build ADU, the permitting took seven months and we're going to spend another six months in building the ADU on site. So that's over a year. But with a prefabricated option, it's only going to take four to six months total, which means you can make an extra seven to nine months of rent. The third advantage is the on-site construction is really short. For a stick built ADU that I'm doing, we're going to have construction on site for six months. And because my main house is being rented as an Airbnb right now, we're worried about the construction noise disturbing tenants. So we have to convert it temporarily into a long-term rental and we need to find tenants who can tolerate construction noise. We also have to reduce the rent during this construction time. But with a prefabricated ADU, the on-site process is only two to four weeks, which is significantly less compared to a stick build. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of a prefabricated ADU. First of all, it's expensive. The prefabricated option provided by Rent the Backyard cost $199,000, which Considering the size of the unit, 420 square feet, it translates to $474 a square foot. Compared to a stick build ADU, which the building cost is somewhere around $300 to $350 right now in the Bay Area, this cost is quite higher. But you do want to keep in mind that you are paying a premium for all the conveniences because the prefabricated option is a one-stop shop. 
The second disadvantage is the size of the ADU and the floor plan is fixed. For example, I'm building an ADU at my rental property and the backyard is very spacious. So I'm planning to build an ADU that's 700 square feet big. But if I were to go with the prefabricated solution, it's not an option for me to build that big of an ADU because they only offer one size that's 420 square feet. So neither of these options is perfect. At the end of the day, you have to choose one based on your needs and preferences. I hope you enjoyed this ADU tour, and if you did, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions regarding an ADU, either prefabricated or stick build, drop me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.